In this video, we're going to create a virtual service using a WSDL specification file. So to get started, I've created a project here called VS from WSDL to represent that the virtual services in this project will be created from WSDL files. And I have my first transaction bundle, get user WSDL, representing that we're going to use an account control WSDL and we're going to specifically use the get user operation in that account control WSDL. So to begin the creation process, first we need to import the specification file. So we'll click on files here. And then I have the WSDL file locally. It's the EJB user control being WSDL. I'm going to drop it here. And I can drop more than one WSDL file if I had them here or if I wanted to. But to keep this simple, we're just going to add one in and then click on add to bundle. And this is going to process the WSDL file and pull in all the operations that are available. So we want to target the get user transaction specifically. We could just leave all these in here if we wanted to, but essentially you want to make sure that your virtual service is streamlined as possible and really only has the data that you absolutely need so that it performs as optimally as possible. So to streamline our virtual service, what we're going to do is remove all of the operations I'm going to select them all. We'll do a click and then shift click and then just press the delete button and delete all of the operations except for the get user. And we can see here that it is uh, using SOAP as well for its formatting. And then when we click on the operation, we can see the request and the response data that will be put into the virtual service. So right now, everything looks really good. Uh, we're going to keep this very simple for the moment. So we'll just go ahead and click on create virtual service. So here we can see that we have the transactions that are captured and we have the URL that the virtual service is going to run on. So we'll go ahead and click run virtual service and we'll start the virtual service up. And next I'm going to copy the URL and let's go ahead and test this using the API Explorer. So up here I can paste in the URL and then I'm going to need a request to send. So I'll just jump over here to my transaction bundle and I can just grab the request and copy it. And then I can jump back over here to the API Explorer and paste this in. And when everything else looks good, we'll go ahead and just hit send and see what we get back. So we did receive a response back and it's a very generic response. But again, just to keep this video very simple, that is the process that you would use to create a virtual service from a WSDL specification file.